Hey guys, so guess what? I just got for YouTube and found out this is still number one. This is the Arrow Fastener Model T50, and this is top notch. Um, I didn't look up the Stanley one, but they accept the same staples um, because I was stuck about this one. But they have different staples. So it's the T50 model, but they got different staples. That floored me. So the staples I have are like this. They're like that. All right. You see how the bottom is straight to the bottom? All right. So I'm going to actually go to the store after doing this, removing all this, and show you what I should have gotten. And hopefully it works. So, yeah. I went on YouTube, saw a lot of videos, and that's what I saw. And I was actually surprised. Now, this is the part that's about to get me. Because, all right, I'm looking at this staple and it seems to be holding really good. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want staples flying all over the place. And some of them are actually holding in here and some of them are, I did a really good job right here. I got to pull it off. And what I was trying to do was like, Put a piece of foam here and just staple it down, but it's going to be indentation. So, yeah, that's not going to work. See how easy? Remember I said the burlap was woven? See how you can see through it? It's not woven as tight as the old burlap that I took off. So, yeah, that's alarming. Now, the foam that I have... I'm going to try to glue them together. Let me put my glue gun back on. Let's see if I can glue them together. That may not be a good thing for me trying to do that, but yeah. So I'm going to pull this off and see. Yeah, this thing is holding on. Now this part. Where did this part come off? From? Okay. So... Some penetrate, some don't. And I don't know how to make this flow without the indentation. Like how that's flowing. And the indentation will be here. Like if I got a piece and staple it down here. So if I got a piece and staple it down here. And then put the burlap on it and bring it around. It may not be as bad, but I don't. It can't be. Let me see something. I'll be back. Let me check something out. And of course, now I will pick a time to brainstorm. So, I would put like a piece here, staple like staple it down. Two pieces because I need it to be really thick, like how it's thick over there. So two pieces of this, staple them down on the side, and then staple them down like here, right here, and then staple from here with burlap on over. I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't know how that's going to turn out. But let me try it. First, I'm amazed at how, uh-oh, I don't need this to be under my feet, how some of the staples are like we ain't going nowhere and then some of the staples are like let me get on out of here that's weird to me so let me take these staples out and I will be right back I don't want to spend up the time while y'all watch me take out staples That'll take about 15 minutes. See, this one here is like, we in it to win it. I don't know. All right. So anyway, how long have I been on here now? I'll be back.
almost five minutes. All right, so I moved all the staples and I'm trying to have a smooth transition to where I can start here, staple here, and have it really flat as I can get it. And then do the smooth transition on that side also. But, all right. So let me, let me do this. All right, so I'm doing a quick voiceover. And pretty much what I'm trying to do is make sure this foam is wide enough for me to staple down and um, to look somewhat good. So I'm over here trying to find wood to staple because I'm known for stapling air. And I think that was another issue that I had. So, and so far for the most part, it was, it was handling business. So, you know, we're still going to wait and see you know, how it works, you know, things may look one way, and then after a while, sorry, my big head was in the way, it's a different ball game, and because as I was pushing this foam down, it seemed like it wasn't reaching the other side, I had to go ahead and throw some more staples on there, because I knew I was going to pull on it, and I wanted it to do what I need to do, now, not sure how the end results is going to look, but we shall see. So here it is. I had to, and I can't put that knee down. Oh, that's an aggravating situation. But anyway, so to give me some, a solid foundation, I went ahead and put it on this side so I can push down into it. And I was using two hands because I was starting to struggle a little bit. That's the only thing I don't like about this thing. But of course, I wasn't holding it the right way. Even, you know, after holding it the right way is a bit of a struggle. So it's almost coming to a point where I don't even have to use it no more because I'll be doing something else as far as using the material. So my focus was on getting this done and picking this chair back up. And that right there, I wasn't sure I was in enough wood. But it stayed. It held us the ground. Okay. So let me show you. Uh oh, I gotta staple something down. I don't understand why you wouldn't have went in. Ugh. It's just burlap and wood. Okay, yeah. Let me get to Walmart because, like, see, this is what they're doing. I don't know if you guys can actually see. I mean, ugh, this is aggravating to me. Um, so, transition, this is long on this side, we transition this on from here over here. I need to run to Walmart right quick. Let me scoot this down some. Yeah. Okay, so. I'm about to run to Walmart, so I did a screenshot while I was watching the video, and let me see if you'll be able to see the difference. Hopefully you can. Oh, really? Okay. Let me see. You see right there how I got pointy ends to it? Okay, so that's what I'm going to get. So it's the one fourth, the five sixteenths, or three eighths, and the ones that I have here don't have the pointy ends. See, the ends aren't pointy; they're flat. So I'm thinking that's my issue. So I did a screenshot, so I take it inside the store. 
So let's see. So let me go ahead, run to the store at Walmart, and um, I will be right back. I'm back. And there's a new brand of tools called Heart. So I guess these are eventually going away. Because I saw more of the Heart than I saw these, but then the shelf was half empty. So let's go ahead and try one of these babies. Look. See the ridges? All right. So let's see. I always have a hard time opening this dang old thing. You would figure as much time as I refill it, I would get it together. All right, that's it. See? These don't have bridges. See? All right. So let's get this all rolling. 13 minutes. All right. Okay, this way. Hold on. No, this way. Come on. Bam. All right, let's make some stuff happen. So, I'm about to, I need to staple this to where it, see this one looks different from this one, why? It's the same foam, uh-oh, uh-huh, y'all came up over here. Great, that gives me a reason to staple. Okay. All right. Okay. Staple really good. All right. I'll let y'all see what I'm doing here. Okay. So I don't mind the hang because I'll cut it. So I wanted to. Oh my gosh. See, this one looks skinnier, and this one looks fatter. Maybe because when I stabled it, it slimmed it out. Okay, bump it. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so me putting down the burlap. Now listen, this has been a lesson learned. And you know, it's crazy. But I mean, the staples has been working great. It's just the overall thing. And I don't remember nothing. I don't think none of the staples popped out. But I'm going to tell you something. I was moving really fast. So I think with it having those rigid edges, it, it pushes down in the wood and it does what it's supposed to do. So, but we'll see. So here I am cleaning up all the excess. Because I'm over it. <laughs> as far as the day is concerned, I have been waiting to get this thing done. I have been, I was at work just excited. Couldn't wait. Had so many ideas. And I just jacked this whole thing up. But I'm going to keep pushing forward. I'm a, I'm learning. So we'll see where it lands and how it works. And I started noticing a difference. And it was a bugging the crap out of me. And I finally got that bad boy to stay. Ha-ha! Bam. That's my issue. I don't know if my material is going to flow. So I almost want to put an indentation on this side. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just stick with this or do this. So I don't know how well y'all can see. That's the slim one. This is the fat one. This one looks better than this. And all I have to do to mi mimic it is just, you know, like staple it down. And then they will mimic this one. But this has an easy flow when I lay my material. This is going to flow. And then, I don't know. Maybe if I pull the material real tight, it wouldn't even. If I pull the material real tight, it would, probably couldn't even feel it. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work out. Uh now I have enough burlap. Say I take all this off so it can match this one. I have enough burlap, but I have to get a piece of foam that's gonna fit from the side of this chair all the way up around here. 
I don't know what to do. And I don't want to start stapling this. I, I like an easy flow and an easy transition. If I put the material, let me see something. Let me see. If I put the material here, it may flow. It may flow and not, you might, I probably may not be able to see it. And I never showed y'all what fabric I was using. So let me see something right quick. Okay, so I took a piece of the fabric and just laid it across it and like pulled it in. Now I see why it's good to use upholstery fabric because it's thicker. A step down is the duck canvas fabric. Um, and I showed it in a previous video. And when I laid it across it, you couldn't see nothing. So I'm gonna do it as tight as I can when I do apply it and see what happens. But it, it laid pretty good. All right, guys, so my video went extremely long, so I had to cut some of it off. So I'm just coming back on. Um, I'm going to do another part because there's something else I have to show you that I'm noticing when I put the cushion back in the chair, the part that you sit down on. So I'm not going to do that now because I've uploaded one, uh, three videos. This is number four. My battery is going low. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll be back on. Any suggestions, I'm here for it. Any foolishness, you're blocked. And, yeah, that's about it. So enjoy the rest of your Saturday, your weekend. I have a wonderful day. I work from home Monday, so I might be playing with my chair Monday. I'm not sure. But, you know, if I do, y'all know because I'll probably upload up. So thanks again for watching, and you have a wonderful wonderful. I don't know what I'm, where I'm looking at night. Deuces.